Hi, I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I have the honor of working for Wisconsin in the United States Senate. When it comes to health care, the difference between Democrats and Republicans today couldn't be more clear. Congressional Republicans and President Trump tried to pass repeal plans that would take away people's health care and allow insurance companies to charge more or deny care for people with pre-existing health conditions. And when that effort failed, because the American people spoke out, the Trump administration went to work sabotaging our health care system, instead of working on bipartisan solutions that will lower health care costs and expand coverage for hardworking families across this country. President Trump is in court right now, trying to overturn the Affordable Care Act entirely, including guaranteed protections for 133 million Americans who have pre-existing health conditions. His administration is trying to make it harder for people to enroll in quality, affordable health care coverage by slashing federal funding for the Affordable Care Act Navigator Program by 84 percent. Meanwhile, the Trump administration is expanding junk health insurance plans that don't have to cover pre-existing conditions or provide essential benefits that families need, like prescription drug coverage, emergency room services, or maternity care. President Trump is even using taxpayer dollars to promote these junk insurance plans that could leave you stuck paying thousands out of pocket if you get sick. The people of Wisconsin did not send me to Washington to take people's health care away. So I'm working to help more Americans get access to quality health care, especially during open enrollment, which ends on December 15th. I introduced my Enroll Act to restore funding for the Navigator program that President Trump slashed and help more people find comprehensive health care plans that meet their needs at a price they can afford. Navigator programs are so important to helping millions of people find the right health care plan. Whether it's private insurance through the Affordable Care Act marketplace or coverage through Medicaid or the Children's Health Insurance Program. In May, the Enroll Act passed the House of Representatives, but since then, it's been sitting in Majority Leader McConnell's legislative graveyard because Senate Republicans have refused to give it a vote, pass it, and get it done. They made it clear they support Trump's efforts to make it harder for people to sign up for quality, affordable coverage. After three years of sabotage, more Americans are uninsured today than when President Trump took office. And this year, enrollment numbers are down again. As the open enrollment period comes to a close, we cannot let that trend continue. So sign up for health care coverage. Shop around. Make sure that the insurance you have works for you and your family. We will continue to say no to the sabotage and no to the junk plans. And we will continue to fight against health care repeal because no family should be forced to choose between helping a loved one get better or going bankrupt. Let's work to make things better, not worse. Tell Mitch McConnell to say yes to providing more access to quality, affordable health care coverage by passing the Enroll Act today.